A controversial political documentary hits theaters, shedding an unflattering look at President Barack Obama. In dramatic form, Obama's America 2016 poses the idea that the president is following his father's dark agenda. For a long time, I sat between the two graves and wept. The pain I felt was my father's pain. My questions were my brother's questions. Their struggle, my birthright. Obama has a dream, a dream from his father, that the sins of colonialism be set right and America be downsized. Our guest today, every today cinema analyst Bill Timoney, and uh, let me ask you first your thoughts on the movie. Brian, I want to be very clear about this. I think this movie, 2016, Obama's America, is the best movie of the season. Wow. But I'm not talking about the presidential campaign season. I'm talking about the Halloween season. <laughs> Halloween, as you know, is a time when Hollywood releases all their scary movies. And there are going to be a lot of them coming up. We already had The Possession and The House at the End of the Street, and so many more are going to be coming. All the monster movies, the fright films, the slasher picks. It's going to be hard for any of these films to be as frightening as this movie. Wow. Yeah. So, so I, I'm assuming you're talking about the political fright, scaring people into the pool. Well, the, the, the tagline for the film is, love him, hate him, you don't know him. If you go into this movie hating President Obama, you will come out of this movie even more terrified at the thought of a second term than you already had. Because, I mean, it's a classic monster movie setup. You have the intrepid adventurer who is also an amateur psychiatrist and is also a journalist, and he's on the search to find out what, what this secret is about this mysterious monster. And the monster at the center of this movie is this guy named Barry Obama who takes a vow on his father's grave to destroy America. I mean, it's like Damien in the Omen movies, it's like Dracula, it's like Jigsaw in the Saw movies, and it, it looks that way. The, every time they flash back to the grave and all that, I mean, it looks right out of one of the flashbacks from <laughs> Saw. So if you don't like the president, this will terrify you into making sure you and everybody you know does not vote for him. Now, if you are a supporter of the president, you will also be horrified that this is not being sold as a horror film, but is being sold as a documentary. That was my next question. Is, it, is that an accurate de de portrayal of the picture as a documentary? Well, it is. Um, uh, the, the filmmakers want you to believe that, and the filmmakers clearly, they believe it. But you would think a documentary would be like, um, like a journalism piece where you go to find out the story mm -hmm. and you find the story. You and you go, use the facts. You go where the facts lead you. Uh, in this work, it's based on uh, Dines Souza, who's the co-writer and co-director and is the, the on-camera interviewer. Uh, it is, uh, it's based on a couple of his books. He, he, he already wrote the books. So the conclusions are already in the books. And the conclusion of this movie, again, is Obama has taken a vow on his father's grave to destroy America. Mm -hmm. How factually based that is? Draw your own conclusion. Okay, well, well, let me do it this way. Um, you remember the rest of the story, Paul Harvey? Sure. Paul, now, I, I, icon for generations. Paul Harvey was just wonderful on the radio. He always would give you a story. He'd give you a couple facts about a particular event or incident. And as you listened, you knew exactly what it meant, what happened, and you formed your opinion about it. Then he would say, page now, two, the rest of the story. There you go. And then he would give you the other facts. And the other facts would completely negate what you originally thought. Mm -hmm. To the point where now that you have all the facts, now you know the story. What Mr. DeSouza does and the filmmakers of this movie is they give you a couple facts that they feel will support their argument, Obama take a vow and father grave destroy America, whereas he ignores all the other facts that would make you go, no, that's not the case at all. Would you like some examples? Certainly. I'll give you some examples. <laughs> uh, example number one, this film is based, as you saw in the clip, mm -hmm. colonialism. Colonialism. Anti-colonialism in this movie is a very, very bad thing. Mm -hmm. Now, you might say, well, wait a minute. Founding fathers, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, they were anti-colonialist. Sure. And Dines de Souza on camera says, yes, uh, our founding fathers were also anti-colonialist, but this isn't the same thing. And that's all he does to differentiate. He just says, oh, this is not the same thing which is, you know, it's not scholarly, it's, it's not correct. 
But for example, he says, an example of Obama's vicious anti-colonialism, he had a bust of Winston Churchill removed from the White House. Is that a fact? Well, when Obama came into the White House, there was a bust of Winston Churchill. Shortly thereafter, that bust was gone. That is a fact. Page two, the rest of the story. There were two busts of Winston <laughs> Churchill in the White House. One was a gift to the American people during the Johnson administration, mm -hmm. and it was put in the White House. Then after 9-11, British Prime Minister Tony Blair asked George W. Bush, hey, I'd like to loan you something. It gives me a lot of inspiration during my dark times. I think it might help you. He sends him a bust of Winston Churchill. Mm -hmm. It's a loan for his term as president. So now we know the rest of that story. The rest of that story is, well, no, no, let me finish it, though, is that after the Bush's uh, term is up, it was supposed to be returned to the British Embassy in Washington, D.C. And never got so that's, back. No, so it was. So the Obama administration then returned it. So De Souza in the movie uses it as this proof that Obama wants to destroy America because he hates Britain, which doesn't make sense. But Obama doesn't like looking at Winston Churchill. There already is a bust of Winston Churchill there. You know, so wow. the, all kinds of little facts like that get manipulated into this very bizarre horror movie type point that wow. Obama it took about his father's grave to amazing destroy. Amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. And amazing that the media hasn't paid a whole lot of attention to this movie. Uh, we'll wait to see if it has much of an impact on the election. It's made $30 million already. It's the second highest grossing political documentary of all time. Wow. Yeah. A lot of the party faithful out there watching. Yeah, they are. Thanks, Bill. My pleasure. Always a pleasure.